In this video, we're going to uh, thoroughly investigate something we've only touched on lightly so far, and that is how first derivative information is related to uh, graphs of functions. We're also going to uh, look at how second derivative uh, information helps us determine the graphs of functions and uh, use both uh, first and second derivative information together to help us generate extremely accurate graphs of functions much more accurate than we could do just by plotting points. So you'll notice on the graph we have uh, two blue dots and one yellow dot. We're going to show uh, the significance of those markings uh, through this discussion. So let's first notice that as we move left to right on the number line uh, up to this first blue dot this section of the graph right here up to the first blue dot is a section of the graph where the derivative is positive and the graph is rising. In the uh, second section of the graph between the blue dots, this section here, the graph is falling and the derivative is negative. And finally, in this third section of the graph to the right of the blue, dot as we move uh, from left to right the graph is rising and the derivative is positive. We want to think of these pairings as synonymous negative derivative falling graph positive derivative rising graph uh, that is as it pertains to derivatives and graphs. Now at the same time as uh, when we move left to right on the graph we can identify when it's rising and falling we can use the second derivative to tell us when the graph has a, a bowl shape down which will indicate like this or a bowl shape up which will indicate like this and we've separated them on our graph with the yellow dot so to the left of that yellow dot in this section of this uh, model the graph is bowl shaped down and when the graph is bowl shaped down it will have a negative second derivative so that is the entire section of this graph up to this yellow dot so stopping right there as we move left to right Analogously, on this section to the right of our yellow dot, it is bowl shaped up and second derivative is positive. So let's note that on our main graph. And just to be clear, I've tagged these two sections of the graph with the uh, uh, bright yellow uh, portion signifying where the second derivative is negative and it's bowl shaped down and the uh, pink uh, region outlined where the second derivative is positive and it's bowl shaped up. Now we have specific names for uh, when the second derivative is negative we call that concave down and when the second derivative is positive we call that concave up. I have uh, changed the blue dots on the graph to purple because those two points on the graph have uh, additional significance. Uh, they are not only the dividing lines between when the graph is rising and falling, but they are also respectively the relative maximum and the relative minimum. We call them relative because clearly this point right here is not the maximum value of the graph overall since the graph rises above that point as we can see here and uh, clearly this is not the overall minimum of the graph because the graph falls below that point but in their region uh, relative to the points around them they are respectively the maximum and the minimum value. So at this point I want to uh, clean up the signing on the graph and just put information in about the graph pointing to the various regions and identifying in those regions 
what the first and second derivative uh, derivatives are doing, what sign they have. So I've labeled the graph as we move left to right with four numbers uh, separated by blue or yellow dots. So the first region goes up to here or up to here, the second region between here and here, the third region between here and here, and the fourth region to the right of here. So up to here, in here, in here, and to the right of here. So let's tag each of these regions what, with what the derivative sign in is and what the second derivative sign is. So in region 1, which has this shape, the graph is increasing as we move left to right, and it is also bowl shaped down. So a region 1, or a shape uh, that we have in region 1, this shape is the shape of increasing concave down. Notice that when we combine the information from the first derivative and second derivative, we have increasing uh, defined in um, a specific way, increasing with this down curve shape. So we now tag region 2, which is decreasing concave down this shape. And so that shape, decreasing with a bowl shape down, looks like that. So let's tag region 3 now. So in our region 3, it's still decreasing. The first derivative is negative, but it is concave up. And so let's notice the difference between these two ways for a function to be decreasing. It's now decreasing in this way with the bowl shape up. So let's make sure we understand the difference between these two ways that a function can be decreasing. It can be decreasing concave down, bowl shape down and decreasing, or it can be decreasing bowl shape up. And that's uh, the importance in uh, constructing graphs of using first and second derivative information so that when we connect our points, if we know in a certain region it is decreasing uh, concave down between these two points, we can draw this shape whereas if we know it is decreasing concave up between these two points, we can draw this shape. And so finally, let's go to our region 4. So in our region 4, to the right of this blue dot, as we move left to right, the function has a positive derivative and a positive, a positive first derivative and a positive second derivative, or it's increasing concave up. That gives it this shape, this way for it to be increasing in contrast with how it was in region 1 where it was increasing with this shape. So just to emphasize this, if we had two points on the graph, this point and this point, and we knew it was increasing concave down, we would connect the points with that shape and if we had these two points on the graph and we knew it was increasing concave up, we would c connect the two points with that shape. So these four tagged regions, one, two, three, and four, uh, have these properties in region one, uh, and these uh, four uh, regions are the only four types of reg uh, types of shapes a graph may have. So region one is increasing concave down this shape. Region two is decreasing concave down this shape. Region three, it shifted uh, to concave up but still decreasing, and in region four, it has stayed concave up, but shifted to increasing. So once more, let's draw them as we move left to right. Uh, increasing concave down this shape. Uh, region 2, 
it is still concave down, but it is shifted to decreasing, this shape. Region 3, it is still decreasing, but it has shifted to concave up, this shape. And region 4, it is still concave up, but it has shifted to increasing, this shape. Or if we put it all together, the graph has moved like this. Increasing, concave down, concave down, decreasing, decreasing but concave up, and then concave up but move to increasing. Okay, before we uh, wrap up this video, we want to um, look at this information we've collected in a slightly different way uh, with respect to derivative signs. Okay, so let's first look at this relative maximum and notice that the first derivative changes sign as we move from left to right uh, across that relative maximum from positive to negative. So that's a way that we define whether we have a relative maximum occurring if the first derivative moves from positive to negative about that point. Uh, analogously with this relative minimum we see that the graph is moving from decreasing to increasing from a negative derivative to a positive derivative on either side of that so that's how we define a relative minimum if the, if the graph is moving from decreasing to increasing on either side of it and finally with respect to <clears throat> this point which we call an inflection point an inflection point is a point about which the second derivative changes sign. In this case, to the left of this yellow dot, the function is bowl-shaped down, and to the right of it, it is bowl-shaped up. And so, an inflection point, in an inflection point, we could move from positive to negative or negative to positive for the second derivative. So, we boxed in these three definitions. An inflection point is where the uh, uh, a point about which the second derivative the second derivative is moving from either negative to positive or positive to negative about about uh, that point and this uh, graph it's moving from concave down to the left to concave up to the right a relative minimum is a point about about which the um, first derivative uh, a point about which the uh, first derivative changes sign from minus to plus as we have happening at this point right here changing from decreasing to increasing and a relative max the first derivative changes sign from positive to negative as it does about this point right here and we can see it moving from increasing to uh, decreasing about that point. Okay, so we've got all the information we need uh, uh, about uh, what the first and second derivative mean with respect to shapes and of a graph. And in the next video, we're going to look at some functions, determine their first and second derivatives uh, across all uh, values of x, and then draw the graph of the function.